Attorney General Merrick Garland announced on Thursday that the FBI had detained a member of the Massachusetts Air National Guard in connection with the online posting of classified documents. The U.S. government conducted a quick search for the identity of the leaker who uploaded secret documents to a social media site that is well liked by video gamers before making the arrest of Jack Tixer, 21. Tixer was lawfully taken into custody in Massachusetts, according to Garland, and will be charged in that state's federal court. This inquiry is still open. When the time is right, we will share more details, the Attorney General said while declining to take questions. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office in Boston, Tixer will make his court debut on Friday. Tixera was detained at a residence in North Dighton, Massachusetts, according to a statement from the FBI, for his alleged involvement in leaking classified U.S. government and military documents. According to the FBI, authorized law enforcement activity is still being carried out at the residence. The FBI has aggressively pursued investigative leads since late last week, and today's arrest exemplifies our continued commitment to identifying, pursuing, and holding accountable those who betray our country's trust and threaten our national security, the FBI said in a statement. In-depth intelligence assessments of allies and foes were included in the leaked documents shared on social media, some of which CNN was able to obtain. These assessments included information on the state of the conflict in Ukraine and the difficulties Moscow and Kyiv are facing, as it seems to be at a standstill. Tixera is reportedly the group's leader, according to multiple U.S. officials who spoke to CNN. The group is where a large number of classified documents were posted. Investigators were able to quickly narrow the search to potential members of the chat group, thanks to evidence gathered in the days after U.S. officials discovered classified documents online. The search for the suspect initially included thousands of people who had access to the documents. Despite the fact that many people had access to the documents, investigators were able to focus on a small group for closer examination because of the forensic trail the person who posted the documents left behind. The FBI detained Tixera on Thursday after at least a few days of surveillance, according to a U.S. government source familiar with the investigation. President Joe Biden appeared to imply earlier on Thursday that the U.S. government was close to finding the leaker. Between his speech to Parliament and his departure for a banquet dinner in his honor at Dublin Castle, Biden received a briefing on the arrest, according to a U.S. official. Between the two events, he spent about 90 minutes at the hotel. According to one of the officials, Biden has received regular updates on the investigation and the efforts of his top aides to communicate with allies who have been identified in or disturbed by the information that has leaked. It has been a reality that has lurked in the background of a deeply personal and significant international trip. According to information from Texera's service record that was made available by the Air Force on Thursday, he is an enlisted airman in the Massachusetts Air National Guard. He enlisted in the service in September 2019 and is currently a journeyman in the field of cyber transport systems. Specialists in cyber transport systems, according to the Air Force, are responsible for ensuring that the service's vast global communications network is operating properly. The leaker reportedly worked on a military base and shared sensitive information about national security in an online group of acquaintances, according to a report published on Wednesday by The Washington Post. According to a friend of the alleged leaker the Post spoke with who was also a member of the group, the leaker was described in the Post story as a lonesome young man and gun enthusiast, who was a part of a chat room of about two dozen people on Discord, a social media platform popular with video gamers, that shared a love of guns and military equipment. Dixera had a fascination with the military, weapons, and war, according to a number of his former high school classmates who spoke with CNN on Thursday. He carried a dictionary-sized book on guns, occasionally wore camouflage to school, and displayed behavior that made some of his classmates uneasy. According to Brooke Clothero, who went to middle and high school with Tixera, a lot of people were wary of him. He was more of a loner, and his interest in war and firearms turned off a lot of people. John Powell, who went to middle school and high school with Tixera, recalled him as a friendly and quiet young man who occasionally faced bullying. He claimed he didn't have many friends. Public records indicate that Tixera was raised in the suburbs of Providence, Rhode Island. He went to Dighton Rehoboth High School and graduated in 2020, according to the regional school district superintendent. Powell recalled Tixera having an interest in everything military-related from a young age, and occasionally carrying around a textbook on military vehicles, such as tanks, planes, and submarines. Even as a young child, he had his heart set on enlisting in the military, the man claimed. Other students, who preferred to remain anonymous, claimed Tixera gave off a more threatening vibe. Some recall Tixera making remarks they perceived to be racist or murmuring disparaging remarks about people under his breath. The day after a large-scale shooting in Las Vegas in 2017, a student recalled him arriving at school wearing a shirt with an Arkansas 15 on it. Another former classmate claimed that Tixera's actions didn't rise to the point where people felt the need to report him, but he made me nervous. The same student claimed she mistook his interest in the military for an expression of American nationalism and was shocked by the accusations made against him. 
she said. I didn't think he would be able to do something like this. On Thursday, Biden said he was more worried about the fact that the leaks had occurred than their specific contents. The leak doesn't worry me at all. Although I'm worried that it happened, I'm not aware of anything contemporaneous that has any significance. Pentagon restricts public access to sensitive information following the leak. The Pentagon has started to restrict who within the government is given access to its highly classified daily intelligence briefs. As the Pentagon's joint staff continues to trim its distribution lists, some U.S. officials who used to receive the briefing materials daily have stopped receiving them recently, sources familiar with the situation told CNN. The joint staff, which is made up of the Defense Department's highest-ranking uniformed leadership that advises the president, started reviewing its distribution lists as soon as it was made aware of the massive leak of classified information. Many of the documents had markings on them that indicated the joint staff's intelligence division, the J-2, had produced them. On March 3, 2022, more than a week after Russia invaded Ukraine, the Pentagon can be seen from the air. Pentagon leak results and restrictions on who has access to top-secret military information. Following the arrest of the Air National Guardsman, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced on Thursday that he has instructed the Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security to review intelligence access. Austin added, as Secretary of Defense, I also will not hesitate to take any additional measures necessary to protect our country's secrets. In order to guide our efforts to ensure that a similar incident doesn't occur again, I'm instructing the Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security to review our department's policies regarding intelligence access, accountability, and control. Brooke. Jen. Patrick Ryder, a spokesman for the Pentagon, confirmed on Thursday that the Defense Department is taking steps to limit who has access to classified information. The Pentagon, according to Ryder, is still examining a number of factors as it relates to safeguarding classified materials. Assessing how and where intelligence products are shared, looking over and updating distribution lists, and a host of other things are all part of this. Ryder also emphasized that stringent guidelines are already in place to protect classified information. He declared, this was a deliberate criminal act, a violation of those rules. The FBI's Washington field office is in charge of the criminal investigation, along with a group of counterintelligence investigators skilled at finding leaks. Together with Pentagon officials, those investigators are also assessing the damage, which will be used as evidence in any subsequent prosecution.